Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Did you have a good day? Did you have a busy day? How are you? Tired day. Tired. A low energy. <laughs> low battery. Oh, the tally. Okay. <laughs> I know it's Thursday already, so it's been a long week. Yeah. But next week is gonna be short. Yes, one day free. <laughs> By Thursday is gonna be the last day of that week, actually. <laughs> That's great. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> yeah. A long week. And a long yeah. no, a short week and a long weekend actually. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, let's do our very best in today's session. Let me just grab something from here. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, first things first. What's this? Yes. Oh, the presentation. Hold on. Hold a second. Oh, I think people from the area of a watch Japan are on a holiday now. I don't think we have people from that area in this course. But if that was the case, then they are on a holiday. They are celebrating. They have a festival, a very famous festival today. Okay. Well, the topic for today is prepositions of time. How to use prepositions of time. This is our video conference number 14. Mm -hmm. At the end of this session, participants will be able to use prepositions of time. That's what the manual says, right? So that's what we're going to be practicing. That's what we're going to be studying. The prepositions are usually a big issue. <laughs> but I hope they don't give you a hard time. They don't give you a headache this time. It's only three prepositions, in, on, at. Okay, good evening, Ricardo. Welcome. Oh, by the way, only Ricardo, remember to post on the chat. Nice, Ricardo. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So before anything else happens, yes, I have to have the attendance of all of you give me one second i just need google sheet to load here we go today is our session number 14 Well, I'm afraid something went wrong this day. Okay, Christy. Present. Hello. Hello. Andrea asked for permission because she has too much. Oh, but she's here, Andrea. Present. You asked for permission for your homework. No? Sí, es que ahorita voy caminando hacia mi casa. 
really from university? No, del trabajo. From work. Yes. And you have to work on assignments from the master degree. Oh my God, you are having a master degree? Wait, 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 wait. My microphone. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, you mentioned that you're taking a master degree in in what major? In economy? Okay. Good. After Andrea, we have oh Brian. Hi. Hi. Welcome right on time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no dinner yet? No, uh, I'm, I'm ready to prepare my, well, all things with my mom. All right. Great. Christian Alexander? Present. Hello, good evening. David, oh no, I don't see the D of David. You usually got the letter D. Doris? Present. Hello, Present. good evening. How are you? Fine. Good. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay. Douglas? Present. All right, thank you. Stephanie? Present, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Francisco? Francisco, not here. Gracias. Present. Hi, good evening. Mm -hmm. Hector Manuel. I teach here. Oh, I'm driving present. my car to my house. I'm sorry, I didn't read your message before. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, let's see. Joanna? Present. Hi, how are you? Fine. <laughs> Good. Next mm. is Jose Antonio. No. Okay. Mm. Carla? Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Mm -hmm. Laura. All right. Miguel Angel. Nelson. Present. Hi, good evening. Ricardo. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Wendy. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. And Wilmer. Present teacher. Great. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What we studied yesterday, what do you remember? Uh -huh. We studied questions with what time? Okay, what time do you start work? What time do you finish work? What time do you have a meeting? What time does the meeting start? What time does the conference finish? And so on and so forth. All right, voy a dar un time, por decir, at 4.30 p.m. Y usted trate de escribir una oración en el chat utilizando 4.30. Like, I finish work at 4.30 p.m. Yes? Or if I say noon, and then you say, I eat lunch at noon. Right? Okay, ready? Let's start. 
6 a.m. Let's see what happens at 6 a.m. Well, David is here now. Driving. Of course, if you're driving, you're not going to be able <laughs> to do much, right? Okay, at 6 a.m. Let's see. What do you do at 6 a.m.? Mm -hmm. Any sentence? All right, I get up at 6 a.m. That's good. At least we got one sentence. All right. Nice. Next time. All right, well, I'm more from 6 a.m. I cook breakfast at 6 a.m. Great. Uh-huh. I go to work at 6 a.m. Nelson, very good. Okay. Next, 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 next time. At 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. See? Oh, gracias. She says she has breakfast at, at 6. It's still 6. At 9 a.m. Okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's pretty early. At 3 a.m., you got up. But just today, or oh, every single day. Okay, next time it's 9 a.m. Let's see. What do you usually oh yes? What happened? What's the most common activity that you do at 9 a.m.? Okay. 9 a.m. Any example? At 9 a.m. I go to work with agriculture at 9 a.m. I start work at 9 a.m. Nice. Mm hmm Cool. Okay, I start working at 9 a.m. That's awesome. Actually, if I have to write at 9 a.m., 9 a.m., I have a break because I start working at 7. So I usually drink coffee, have a chat with my friends, Mm -hmm. I have breakfast at 9 a.m. I drink coffee with bread at 9 a.m. That's nice. Okay. We open to the public at 9 a.m. Very good, Carla. Okay. Next hour at 2 p.m. <clears throat> at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get up at 3 a.m. to work. Oh, my goodness, Francisco. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. All right. At 2 p.m. Give me one second. I just need to connect my computer. At 2 p.m. All right, let's see what happens at 2 p.m. I come back to work from my lunch at 2. Wow, that's great. It's coffee time. <laughs> at 2 p.m. is coffee time. I come in from lunch. Oh, wow. 
That means you have two hours for lunch? For one hour, you go for lunch at one, or you go for lunch at two, at 12. I get up at 6 a.m. and I go to work. All right. Some days I have lunch at two. Oh, wow. Interesting. Okay. This is awesome, actually. Okay. Next time. Let's see. This might be a bit different for everybody. At 6 p.m. What happens at 6 p.m.? Huh? At 6 p.m. <laughs> I take a nap in the office at 2. Oh, my goodness. That's lovely. I wish I could do that. At 6 p.m., I have dinner. Nice. Great. Mm -hmm. What else? Okay, I'm coming home. Yeah. I cook dinner. I come home when I'm coming home at 6 p.m. Nice. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Let's see somebody else. Is my dinner time? Gray. At six, yeah, I usually have dinner too at six. Okay. Who else? Who else? One minute, please. Let me see. Oh my goodness, something is wrong with my mouth. Oh, I drive home from work at 6 p.m. Probably, Wendy. You drive home. Okay, nice. Great. Okay. Good. And the last, at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. What happens at 10 p.m.? Uh huh? At 10 p.m. Let's see, I prefer to sleep. Nice. Great. Let's see, who else? I go to bed at 10 p.m. Awesome. I finished my English class. <laughs> True. I finished my corporate corporate English class. Corporate. Yes, it would be corporate. Corporate. Yes. Okay. What else? What else? Okay. Mm 
send you another message. I removed my makeup and brushed my teeth. Great. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've been practicing already. Nice. Different activities that you do at different times, and that's all right. Okay. Let me see. Okay, this is practically something very related to what we were doing yesterday. Let me just show you. Oh, there was one more message. I'm sorry. I'm walking home, Andrea. Poor <laughs> Andrea, just walking home. All right. One second. Okay, so I was going to show you the manual and something related to what we did yesterday. Okay. So probably we can make it bigger. And here we go. It says, uh, we'll be able to tell different people to a specific time and dates of activities that I do at my workplace or in my workplace. So write down on your notebook, a list of activities that you have to do this week or this month or this year. Ask three classmates about their schedule activity specifying time and date. For example, I'm gonna write an example. Let me see. One second. The name, let's say, Wendy. I asked Wendy, okay, tell me an important activity that you have to do this week. And she says, I have um, to attend a conference. I have to attend a conference. When? Mm, tomorrow, Friday, September 8th of 2023. Okay. All right. So that is one activity from Wendy. And I say, okay, Wendy has to attend or she will attend or she is going to attend the conference on Friday, September 8th of 2023. Yes. Or another activity from Wendy could be, okay, is a meeting with her boss when next Monday, Monday, September, what is the day next, next Monday? The 11th, right? The 11th of 2023. So Wendy also has a meeting with her boss next Monday, September 11th of 2023. But first, you do a list. You write a list of important activities that you have to do. Okay, primero escriban cuáles son sus actividades que tienen la próxima. Can be today, uh, not today, I don't think you have anything else. Tomorrow, on the weekend, next week, next Monday, next Tuesday. And then you ask your partners. First, I'm going to give you some time. Voy a dar tiempo para que hagan como el listado de las actividades que tienen que hacer próximamente. Okay? 
And then you will ask your classmates, you will ask your partners about their schedules, their activities, and specify the activities and the time and date. Yes. Okay, and of course, when you share the activities with your parents, you can you can say, I have to go, I have to attend. All right, ready? Yes. Ready, ready? Hi, Francisco, Miguel and Andrea.
eh, aún no termino, me falta una. No. Hello. Teacher, how teacher, how do you say papeleria? Paperwork. Paperwork. Eso, eso era lo que andaba buscando. Vaya, puede decir, ajá, and I and I and I was have to do a lot of paperwork. I'm check paperwork. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Teacher. Hi. Eh, ¿Las actividades eh, del trabajo o es en general? Yes, from work. Ah, ok. okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Number one. Who? Cocina. Okay. No, who? Quién? Nelson. Ah, me. Uh, uh, first activity. Uh, pay payroll. Pay qué? Payroll. ¿Cómo se escribe? Y... What? En español. Eh, planilla, payroll, payroll. P A Y R O L L. Okay. Friday, September A. Para ser September A. O sea, mañana. Es necesario decir la fecha. Yes. Pero... Entendí que sí. Nice, the soccer game. Teacher, teacher is correctly said, uh, orga I organized a soccer match. Soccer match. Match. People okay. say soccer match or soccer game. It's all right. Football match. Eso sería Sunday. Vaya, ya tengo las tres millas. Alguien más? ¿Cuántos estamos? Dale, voy yo. Sí. Teacher, eh, son tres de cada uno, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes. Vaya. Uh, first... I I organize my work. And that, in that time, se se va a poner el eh, el, la, el la frecuencia, creo. Si es solamente un día, si es todos los días, si es fin de uh, semana. Uh, okay.
do with your friend, creo. With my friends. With my friend. Yes. Saturday. Saturday night. It's night. It's Sunday night. 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 Clean game Com computer. Com computer. Sí. At eleven. At eleven a.m. Teacher, uh, listen to me. It's correctly. Okay. Uh, Saturday, on Saturday, I will I will clean in. Ma, no, I will clean in a gamer computer at 11 a.m. I will clean. I will clean. Yeah, after will, you don't need the word in ing, only normal. Clean. I will go. Okay, I, will clean. I will clean. Okay. A gamer computer at 11. Okay. Mm -hmm. At 11 a.m. Right. Via the equal 3 a.m. Saturday. Uh, oh, okay. On Sunday, I will enjoy my break day. No, my my free, free day. My free day. Día si día libre, verdad? Yes. Or well, you can say day off. Okay. Y en ese caso no, tengo, no es necesario que ponga una hora porque pues, sería no, todo el día. No, porque es el día. Ah. Ok. Vaya, ahí está ya. El final dijiste que era I will earn your... O así I te will... Escucho. Sí, sería. Uh -huh. eh, on, on Sunday, I will enjoy that business. Business message. Messages, message, 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 every day uh -huh. at 9 a.m. Every day, every day at 9 o'clock at or 9, 9. a.m. At 9. Sí. Uh, at 9 a las 9. Sí. Eh, eh, p.m. me dijiste, ¿cómo es? A.m. Ah, a.m. Ah, yo después de las horas de trabajo no veo nada de trabajo. Ah, ok. Entonces eh, sería check, WhatsApp, business, business message. messengers, every day at 9 a.m. Yes. Ok. Otra ah, ya estás poniendo todo de un solo. Con el, con el... O sea, sí, para que lo puedan separar. Ah, bueno, ya, ya lo puse de solo. Ajá. Ok. <ríe> El, esa, esa sería la 1. La 2. Sería Chase the Merchandising. Chess, eh, ajedrez, no. No, chain, sí. Changi. Ah, Como cambiar ah, el, merca, el mer, merchandising. Ah, ah, Shane, Shane, la exhibición. Ah, Shane. 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 Nadie más dirá las cosas. Bueno, yo ya dije, ¿verdad? Pero no sé si quieren que la repita.
eh, si quieren repasemos. No sé si Manuel quiere repetirlo. Para repasar. Okay. Okay, voy a repetir entonces. I have to press the financial statement Friday, September 8. I have to present the risk analysis Saturday, September 9. Ahora tú. Yo. Eh, no sé quién, quién quiera. Pero no se peleen. Uh, Alexander. Dice. Eh, I had breakfast with my family in Friday 8, uh, September 8. And I, I had drink beers in Saturday night with my friends. And Sunday, 10, no, September 10, I, today I sleep. Okay, Nelson. Nelson, uh, I have uh, a payroll uh, Friday, September 8th and prepare and pay in taxes and Tuesday, September 13th only. Pagar impuestos y pagar planillas. Que mañana les pago. O, o hacer... 8.22. En serio. Yes. Qué bien. A nosotros nos pagan solo una vez al mes. Así es feo. Hay que saber administrar el dinero. Sí. Sí, nos pagan como empleados de gobierno, pero no están los fines de semana libres. Es lo malo. De las vacaciones. <risa> Ni es. Ah, vamos. Sí, no. okay. Bueno, nos vemos en la sala. All right, finish. Yes. We're missing just one group. That is group number four. It's still there. Oh, now here. All right, everybody participated, everybody. Hello.
All right. Let's move on. One second, please. Just need to move this from here. Just got the wrong, the wrong slide. Wait a second. We need to. Maybe this is from this practice. Oh, yes. Let me see. We got this one. Yeah, this is what we got to present on this lesson. That's the prepositions of time. As I mentioned at the beginning of the class, we only have three prepositions in this lesson. It's not that only these prepositions exist. Of course, there are more. But the ones that we tend to confuse are these ones, right? So let's see. Um, If I were the one creating this, I would put this in the next order. Let me see. I would say in like in on at. But they put it on in at. Why I say I would put it in this order? Because in is more general. In May, like durante todo el mes, in mayo. So you don't know the day exact or the exact date. In 2018, in 2023, in the whole year, in the summer, in the morning, in the afternoon, right? So son como periodos más grandes. Por eso yo digo que in es más general. On, we use it when, when we talk about a day. On Saturday, on Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday, right? On January the 23rd. Cuando damos una fecha, también usamos on. On Monday, February 5th. Okay, the day and the date. On Wednesday morning. Siempre que mencionemos un día, va a ser on. And what about at? At is more for specific hours. Okay, at 2.30, at noon, at night, at midnight. All right, sorry. All right, so this is the presentation of the prepositions of time. Okay, so I would say in May, in, en el mes, en algún mes, en algún año, en alguna estación, in the summer, in the winter, in the spring, in fall, in the morning, in the afternoon, like periodos del día también, at, with the for the hour, with the time, with the hours, let's say at, at noon, at 2.30, at 4.30, at 5 o'clock, right? And on, on days, and on a specific date, right? So this is how we use it. Let me just clear all this. I had a question. Tell me. Eh, como dijo teacher, pues, ¿cuándo íbamos a ocupar el on? Cuando usamos, cuando mencionamos días, por ejemplo, se dice eh, lunes, on Monday, va a ser on. Cuando mencionemos eh, días y fechas, 
o cuando mencionemos una fecha específica. On September 15th, we don't have classes. Yes. Yes, ahora entiendo por qué dejé el examen. No way. <laughs> Era por eso. Sí. Really. Pero es que son las propositions a uh, a uno le puede sonar normal como lógico en su idioma. O sea, el lunes es lo mismo si digo in Sunday or on Sunday or on Monday or in Monday. No, it's on Monday. All right. Teacher, pero verdad que el at a veces se utiliza para especificar un lugar. Sí, en ese caso sería una preposición de place, de lugar. En ese caso solo lo estamos utilizando con tiempo. tiempo. Prepositions of time. Pero esas mismas tres prepositions también dan guerra para lugar. Uh -huh. Donde decimos on 29th street uh -huh. in the main building. At y, y por ejemplo, company. Uh -huh. por ejemplo, este el on, tengo entendido que lo podemos utilizar cuando hablamos que estamos sobre algo, por ejemplo, una oración que diga on my way. Ajá, es que si, generalmente si lo, la vamos a utilizar, el on, como proposición de lugar, es sobre, sobre tal calle, sobre, sobre tal avenida. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. sobre tal esquina el in con espacios más cerrados y el at cuando estamos especificando y dando hasta nombres propios de a tal lugar mm. uh -huh. at okay. inglés corporativo por ejemplo uh -huh. uh -huh. okay. alright aquí hay otros ejemplos para que tengan como más en cuenta in Usamos con seasons in the summer, or in summer, con meses in February, con años, in years, ok, in 2020. Y también las tres como secciones del día, ¿verdad? In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Pero on, on days and dates, on Monday, on Tuesday. On the 16th of February, on Sunday, April 19th, 2020, on Earth Day. También se utiliza como en días feriados, on Independence Day, porque esa es una fecha específica, on Mother's Day. Right. It at, ya dijimos que lo usamos con la hora, at 8 o'clock, at holidays, at Christmas, también se puede decir, esta es opcional. A veces se alterna un poquito el on en at con las fechas exactas cuando hay uh, holiday. At noon, at night, estas sí ya son fijas, así. At noon, at night, at midnight. At the weekend, puede ser también on the weekend. Es, at es un poquito más británico, el on es más American. At breakfast, at lunchtime. Right. Vale, les voy a dejar ahí si quieren tomar nota. O le pueden tomar el screenshot. Porque esto sí le va a ayudar un montón saber cuándo va a ser in, on, or at. Para mí, este orden tiene más lógica. El in es como periodos más largos de tiempo. On va especificando un poquito más y el at es como más específico. All right. Great. Bye. Ese es un exercise que les presenta el book. Déjenme se los comparto directamente desde el manual. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so these are the examples. Complete the email using prepositions of time. Compare answers with classmates. Acá están los espacios, tienen que leer, tratar de que tenga sentido el email from 
from Fatima. Princess, hello, Fatima. So, you're going to complete with the preposition on, in, or at. Bueno, un par de minutos para que lo traten de completar y luego lo comparamos. All right. At nuevamente. On March. Mm -hmm. On no. Sunday. No, no, no. No, on, pues, March. on Sunday. En March, en March sería en March. Mm -hmm. En March, on Sunday. 
Ang Sunday. Mm-hmm. In March on Sunday. In March on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, todo. Sí. Sí, quedaría... Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launched? There is a presentation about it, about it and it sounds very interesting. In a start at 6.30. Mm -hmm. I work union. 5.45, but, but I can meet you at 6 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you, what do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday. I can that day. Mm -hmm. Si gustan, practicamos todo el párrafo. Ok. You start. Hey. Oh, me, why, me? First. Oh. Oh. The ladies is first. Ah, wow. <laughs> you are a very gentleman. <laughs> ok. Hello, Fátima. <laughs> Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? <laughs> There's a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts at six, sorry. I work until I fifty fifty two six no five five forty five <laughs> <laughs> but I can meet you at six on the corner of a first avenue and main street. What do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday, and I can't that day. I know. Chachalacoso, ni modo. <laughs> Lo siento. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> okay, now you, dear <laughs> Nelson. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company that the company launches? There's a presentation about it, and it sounds very interesting. It starts at five at six thirty. I work until um five oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, quarter to quarter to to six <laughs> oh. but, but i can meet you at six on the corner of first avenue and main street what do you do think there's another presentation that I will be on, on March in Sunday. And I can that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Como Ooh. dijo la, la primera avenida? First Como Avenue. Hello. Hello. 
Ok. Eh, solo te poner eh, in on, on at in, ¿verdad? Y de ahí el ejercicio, el que está más abajo, ese no, ¿verdad? Pues yo entiendo que no. Ah, ok. It works that I don't some of these jokes. No sé. Si vamos a hacer eso. Alguien que. Alguien que haya prestado. Sí, porque yo solo. No, porque yo solo escuché que dijeron. Sobre este del correo, que lo complementaron, pero no sé si la otra actividad lo vamos a hacer. Ah, ajá, ah, eso lo que, sí, porque ya lo, la actividad es el decir. Fue algo así, la entendí yo. Mm. Entonces, y digamos, que le leyendo. agregáramos lo que le hace falta, por eso te decía, no sé si lo ibas a practicar ahora tú. <coughs> Vaya. <risa> Quiero ver. Dice, hello, Fátima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launched? There is presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6.30. I work until 7.45. But I can meet you at six o'clock on the corner as Pierce Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but but I will be in March, in Sunday, and in and that day, that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Okay. Now I practice. Okay, boy. Uh, hello, Fatima. Are you business on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There's a presentation about it and song it very interesting. It starts at half up half past six. I work until uh, five forty-five, but I can meet at six o'clock on the corner. Oh. Creo que Laura, porque ella vive un poco más retiradito. Entonces, pero no, el clima ahorita lo mantenemos, por lo menos nos pudimos conectar. Ajá, let's see. All right. Everybody read? Yes. Let's see. Yes, teacher. Nice. We got volunteers to read the email again. Nelson, real perfect. <laughs> really? Yes. <Okay>. All right. <laughs> Nelson? How can I help Indeed, uh... you? You got it, Nelson. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
lie. She lie. No. I did not lie. Fight. All right, David. Is a volunteer. David is a volunteer. And we see on Monday. All right. You just read the complete text. I'm just going to be completing it. Right? Me? Or... All right. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Are you busy on Monday? Mm -hmm. Continue. Afternoon. Ah, okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, oh. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new products that the company launches? Uh, there's a presentation about it, and it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6 30. Uh, I work until 5 no, I until uh 5 45 uh but i can meet you at six o'clock okay uh on the corner of first avenue and mine street what do you think there's another presentation but it will be on march On Sunday. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I can that I can that day. Let me know. Bye bye. All right. Good. Somebody else want to take the risk? You, you teacher. All right. Go ahead. Hello, Fatima. Are you business on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? Mm -hmm. There's a presentation about it, and it sounds very interesting. It starts at uh, half past six. I work until uh, five, six, forty-five, but I can meet at six o'clock on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday. And I can that that day. Let me know. Bye bye. All right, good. Okay, is there any question related to this email? No? Is he? All right. Clear now. Clear when you have to use in on at. We're going to skip this one. Let me just. Yes, I have another exercise, but I have it right here on the presentation. So let me just go ahead and look for it. Mm -hmm. This one is something we did yesterday. Yes. Let me just have a screenshot. Oh my God. Yeah, I better have it like this. Okay. I'm going to share it with you on your WhatsApp chat. Let me know if you if you see already the screenshot. Can you see it on your chat? Yes. It's this one. So you practically have to connect. the preposition right you miss the preposition here you say in on or at june in on or at nine o'clock in on or wednesday so 
you have to say the preposition, all right? So you can do that by yourself, so then you compare with your partner. Hi, Nelson and Douglas. Hi, hi. Ah. <laughs> well, oh. now do you start, Nelson? Hi. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Um. Oh. You you finish your match? No. Presently? No. Oh, okay. No. Together. Okay. Uh, in June. Yeah. Huh? The first the, is the June. first in June. June. Uh huh. Is uh. At oh. nine o'clock. June. Is uh. Oh, wait, 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 is the month is in, in, uh -huh. okay. June, in June. At nine o'clock on Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday. Um, on, on 2013. Oh, yeah. In, in, in. Porque es año. In, e for month, years, morning. Oh, okay. In. I write. I take a tooth. Okay. At night, on Thursday. In November. In November. Yeah. Um,
Winter. In winter. In winter. In winter. The evening. The evening. On the evening. On the evening. On the evening. Evening. At, verdad, la siguiente. Uh -huh. At, At half. Past. Eleven. At la otra sería in. 1991. In. in. Uh -huh. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, uh, no. Uh, at the. Uh, ok. Eh, marzo sería in. In March. Sí. Ok. Y aquí dice. Half past. ¿Cómo? Como pasada de las seis. Ajá. Uh -huh, pasada de las seis. Eso sería. At. Uh -huh. At. Sí. At. Y aquí sería. Es parecido a lo anterior. Sería oh. on. Entonces. Sí. Sí, on sí. The... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Aquí sería at. Sí, es correcto. Uh -huh. uh, aquí sería on. In, in out. In out. Ok. And now on Sunday. On Sunday. On December. And finally in Christmas. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo va? Eh, no las he terminado todas, pero igual las puedo ir diciendo ahorita lo que para terminar okay. la terapia. Ok, ok. Empecemos. Eh, la primera le puse in. In June. Ajá. Uh -huh. In June. Eh, la segunda sería at nine o'clock. Yes. Es el, el del día, quiero ver, le puse on. On weekend. On, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, ajá. Y aquí, oh. in. In 2030. In the... In the... In the... In the... In the... In the morning. Yes. At night. At, at night. On Thursday. On, on Thursday. Uh -huh. In November. In November. No. Yo lo tengo como on November. In November es la cosa. Sí. In November. In, in, November. in, November. Yes. in November. Y la siguiente sería on. Mm, okay. Um, Esta está fixing on June. Yo lo tengo como in the 5th of June. El 15 de junio. Uh -huh. Bueno, ahí sí. Bueno. Puede ser que es in. Uh -huh. Porque es una fecha. Porque también se puede, um, es, es que no, Es que pero, por eso que le puso da, no sé ajá, si. Yo lo siento mejor como in. Como de, in, ¿verdad? Se escucha ajá, mejor como in, in pero. De, ajá, si in. Te, 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 imágenes anteriores, donde está uh -huh. el y el at. Sí, que, porque in, siempre. In, in de, ajá. Pero es raro porque ella dijo que la fecha es específica, pero igual no se escucha bien. Exactamente, in the 15th of June. Ajá. Bueno, la siguiente bueno. sería in the weekend. Yes, yes, yes. In the afternoon. Yes. In March. Yes. At half past six. Yes. Uh, esta no uh, sé por qué. Esta es como la otra. No sé in, si es in o es home, pero in, 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 in the, in ¿cómo the, se pronuncia el S2? In the second of June. Second, sorry. Uh, of June. At, at, no, podría ser. No. ¿Cómo? La 12. Uh, at midday. Midday. Uh -huh. At midday. 
Um, Saturday. Yes. Espérame, espérame, que lo voy anotando. Sería... Ah, mide. Sería on Saturday. On Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. In the... Ajá. Uh -huh. In the winter. In the winter. Ah, sí, sí, el otro me lo falté. Pero ese, ¿cómo sería? In. In winter. Winter, ¿qué? Es como la winter. Invierno, parece que. Winter, in. Ajá, en invierno. Invierno, in the winter. In winter. The evening at, at half past eleven. In the evening. Mm -hmm. Y la otra es at. Yes. Y el que sí, el de 1991 sería in. Yes. El otro sería on Friday, April. On Friday, yes, exactamente. In Halloween. Eso no sé qué es spring. Halloween es una fecha. Se Ajá. puede. Hello. Hola, hello. Hello, hello. Did you finish? Yes. 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 Good. Okay, because the space is kind of little, la preposición la voy a poner hasta aquí. Okay, and June, what preposition do you use? In. In June. All right, sorry. The itchy. Next, nine o'clock? At. At nine o'clock. All right, Wednesday? On. On Wednesday. All right. Mm, 2013? In. In. In, because it's a year in 2013. The morning? In. In, in the morning. The morning. Night? At. At, at, at night. night. At night. Thursday? On. On. On, Thursday. On Thursday. On Thursday. November? In, in, November. in November. In November rain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to get banned from YouTube. All right. The 15th of June. On. On. The, on. On the 15th of June. Este caso creo que les pudo haber confundido por el the, pero... Esta es la forma en la que lo dicen los British, on the 15th of June. Los americanos perfectamente dirían on June 15th. Y no pasa nada, pero the British, you know. So, the weekend también. Americans usually on say on the, weekend. on the weekend, right? Mm -hmm. In Next. the afternoon. In the afternoon. In March. In March. In March. When is your birthday? In March. Uh -huh. At half past six. At half past six. And? On. Oh. On the 2nd uh -huh. of uh -huh. July. Yes. Or on July 2nd. Right? On July 2nd. At 
12. At 12? Yes. We say at 12 or at noon. Uh -huh. On Saturday. On Saturday. At winter. In winter. In winter. Yes. Next. Teacher, pero mencionaba de que las estaciones se podrían utilizar con el at. At, uh -huh. at winter oh, or in winter. I think it sounds more natural if you say in winter. Uh -huh. at, half. Next. at half past 11. At half past 11 or in the evening. I'm sorry, that was not the right one. In the evening. No, sorry, mm -hmm. no, the... In the evening. Uh -huh. And then, yes, at, at half past 11. And then? In 19. In, in 19. 21. <laughs> On Friday, April 17, 2020. Right. On Friday, April 17th of 2020. Ajá. Aquí sí podría ser at Halloween. Oh. At Halloween. Ajá, por lo de los This holidays. Halloween. Or on Halloween. At Halloween or on Halloween. Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. And then in the spring. In spring. Uh -huh. In spring. Next. Um, at? At 9.15. At 9.15, at, at a quarter past nine. In. In autumn. On Saturday. On Saturday. On December. In December. In December. In December. Oh, oh yes, it just, just, sorry. And finally, at Christmas Day. At, at Christmas. Christmas. At Christmas, Christmas Day. Time. Is <laughs> Everybody gets excited. About jingle bell, jingle bell. Just like me. Hey, the, oh, we can we can see Christmas carols. This chair, I have the question. Yes, sir. Tell me. Uh, in the example, I'll. Half past six. Why up? Porque es una hora. Y como usted escriba, como si usted escribiera esto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo. Ajá. Solo que aquí está en. Solo porque aquí está en palabras, pero con la hora siempre va a ser at. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, thanks. No problem. All right, clear. Clear, clear, clear. Yes, teacher. All right. All right, all right. Okay, okay. All right, there's one more exercise. Te voy a compartir el link. No lo tienen que hacer ahorita. You don't have to. But maybe tomorrow mm -hmm. you can practice. Solo quiero que vean si lo pueden abrir. Number one second. Just need to add it right here. All right. Try to open the link and let me know if you're able to. Okay. Did you open it? See, sí, teaching. All right, yes, great. Yes, so you can practice with these exercises tomorrow. It's very similar to what we've been practicing, right? For months, in, for seasons, in, for years, in, for centuries, <laughs> for times of the day, in the morning, in the evening, and for longer periods of time, in the past, in the 90s, in the holidays, then we have on days of the week, on Mondays, days plus parts of the day, on Tuesday afternoon, on Saturday mornings, dates on December the 22nd, on special days, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve, and at clock time, at 7.30, at 5 o'clock, festivals, at Christmas, at Easter, and receptions at night and at the weekend. 
And the weekend is also acceptable on the weekend, okay? So it's not just at. All right, so you complete that information. You can, yeah, then you can check your answers, right? So let me just add one more thing right here. One second, one second, just, I guess it's right here. This is what we just finished. This we just finished too. Okay, now let's just work on this one. Let's see, give you a couple of minutes. Try to check it out. Try to choose the correct answer. Let me choose the circle. All right. So you say, <coughs> sorry. I start school in or at? At. At 8 a.m., right? Yes. Uh -huh. My birthday is in or on September? In on September. September. <laughs> in September. On, oh, I'm sorry. On September, yes. No, it's in. Oh, no, in September, but it's month. Si dijera uh, September 15, September 10th, ahí sí sería on, yes, porque sería una yes. fecha específica, right? But it's just a month, so then you say, my birthday is in September. Yeah. My family usually has a holiday. In August. In August. Yeah. Uh -huh. We finish school. Okay, yes. Um, on July. On on July or July 4th, right? Mm -hmm. I'm eating breakfast. In the moment. In, at the moment. At the moment. At the moment. Uh -huh. Tricky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tricky number Nikki. Are you study science? On, on Friday. Friday. On Friday. Right. But right. here, I'm going to write the preposition. Wait a minute. Uh, eat breakfast? At. 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 At 7.30 a.m. We're going on holidays? In, In July. July. In July. The park opens? In 2019. In 2019. What are so, you doing? In, in the moment. In the moment. At, 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 at the, the moment. moment. Ahí tendemos a traducir porque decimos en el momento en español, right? But at the moment. <laughs> All right. On Saturday. On Saturday, I play football. On Oh, my, my birthday is on the 15th of October. Uh -huh. At the evening. I watch TV. I watch TV? At the in evening? In the morning. In, in the, oh, in, uh, yes. In the evening. In the evening. evening. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I think in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> In summer. In summer, we go to the beach. The moon at comes night. out. At night. At night. <laughs> <laughs> Very obvious that is at night. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? On Tuesday. On, on Tuesday. Tuesday. What are you doing on Tuesday? On Monday? On Tuesday? On Wednesday? Bye. On every week. Yeah, you know songs in English, I see. That's good because that helps you to get more vocabulary. Yeah. All right. Let's think a lot of practice with the prepositions of time. I think, let me just check one more thing right here. Yes, tomorrow is the end of the unit three. Voy a solicitarles que si tienen un chancecito, espérenme que my doggy is going outside. Ajá. Wait a second.
All right. Si tienen un chancecito que revisen, repasen toda la unit 3. Identifiquen si hay algo que necesitan que repasemos. Que anoten. Tengan ahí en mente algo que todavía quizás necesitemos practicar un poco más. De forma individual, obviamente. Ustedes háganlo de forma como yo necesito practicar esto un poco más. O yo necesito algunos ejercicios para recordar esto, right? So, también pido que puedan trabajar en la plata, ya que el día de mañana es Friday, ya tengamos como practically finished the unit three. ¿Y qué más les iba a recordar? Oh, that it's important to be on time and it's important to participate. Okay, so sometimes it's, it, it's kind of hard. I know you're pretty tired, you're pretty busy. Yeah, but it's it's great when I hear all the presentations, all the participation. So that's another reminder, okay? Besides that, probably you can finish the exercise I shared on the link. So that is also going to give you a lot of practice. And if you can... Watch the video so you can have uh, more examples, more ideas. That would be great. All right. Any questions so far? No Which questions? Chair? No questions. Bye. So no questions. Question. Pasemos la attendance. Christy? Yes. <laughs> Christy? Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea? Se puso a trabajar la... I know, Brian, Christian Alexander, present, David, present, teacher, Doris, Douglas, present, Stephanie, present, teacher, Francisco, good night, good night, Francisco, Javier, present, Gracias. Hector. Present teacher. Joanna. Present. Jose. No, Carla. present. True. Present. Laura. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nelson. Present teacher. Ricardo. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Wilmer. All right. Pre present teacher. All right, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bueno, ayer nos quedamos con Stephanie and today, Gracia. It's Gracia's turn to stay on the one-on-one -on -one session, okay? Good luck, Gracia. Good luck. Good night. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. Take care. Bye. Good night. Good night See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.